हेलो वेलकम टू नेट लेक्चर ऑफ डेंटल मेडिसिन आवर टॉपिक इज एनालिसिस ऑफ स्प्रे इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी स्टडीड ऑब्जेक्ट्स को थी मोर सर्कल एंड रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन इलास्टिक कंपोनेंट नाउ वी विल स्टडी स्ट्रेंस इट स्टेज इन टू डायरेक्शन डायरेक्शन ओके तो हाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कंसीडर द योग यदि इन प्रिंसिपल प्रोसेस इन द बॉडी इज इक्वल टू एक्टिव ओके एक्टिव और द स्ट्रेन इन डायरेक्शन 1 विल बी सिग्मा 1 बाय ई माइनस न्यू सिग्मा 2 बाय ई ओके सिग्मा 1 बाय ई इज द longitudinal strain as mu sigma 2 by e is this strain is similarly strain in a direction 2 sigma 2 by e is longitudinal strain is and mu sigma 1 by e is so that strain in direction 1 is sigma 1 by e minus mu sigma 2 by e and that strain in direction 2 sigma 2 by e minus mu sigma 1 by e okay. so so these two equations are factorized by as okay now if we multiply the equation e with mu okay we will get mu 2 and mu sigma 2 minus mu here sigma 1 okay divided by e. Okay. Add, add it to one. Okay. You see, multiply mu two mu mu two by e minus mu square mu one by e, and add to this equation. Then this will cancel out. Okay. Then this this will cancel out. Okay. This is the multiplication. This is the addition. then we will be left with x1 1 plus mu x2 2 is equal to sigma 1 by e minus mu square sigma 1 by e we can take sigma 1 as common sigma 1 as common and find out the value of sigma 1 so this is the value of sigma 1 sigma 1 is e Bracket x1 1 plus mu sigma 2 bracket close divided by 1 minus mu square. Similarly, sigma 2 to a sigma 2 can be found out in place of 1 we will write 2. Okay, this one is in place of 2. This one is in place of 2. This one is in place of 2. So this is the these are the stresses sigma 1 and sigma 2 in terms of e x1 and mu. Okay. Now, if we subtract these two stresses, okay, then we will get this e one minus mu square common x one one minus mu x two two minus x two two minus mu x one one. Okay. So after solving this, we will get sigma one minus sigma two is equal to e. Bracket x plus one minus x plus two divided by one plus mu. Okay. Or now we have e is equal to from the relationship between the last two constants e is equal to two g one plus mu. Okay. Putting this value, so sigma one minus sigma two will become two g x plus one minus x plus two. And if we divide by two g. Both sides, the same thing will come. Sigma one minus sigma two by g by two g is equal to epsilon one minus epsilon two. So now sigma one and sigma two are principal stresses, and sigma one minus sigma two will be uh, by two will be your maximum shear stress. So we can replace sigma one minus sigma two by two with this quantity. How much? How much will be? Is equal to sigma one minus sigma two. So this is this tau max by g is what shear strain, okay? And we denote it by 
gamma max. Gamma max is the maximum spacing because k space is maximum and so that this is uh, this is equal to difference of strain. Okay, but uh, in case of shear stress, maximum shear stress, the expression was sigma one minus sigma two by two divided by two minus. Okay. Now the difference of principal stress will be divided by two, then uh, it will become maximum shear stress. Okay. But here only the difference will give maximum shear stress. Okay. So this is the difference between the relationship between. Shear uh, maximum shear stress and maximum shear stress. In case of maximum shear stress, tau max is equal to sigma one minus sigma two by two. Whereas in case of maximum shear stress, tau gamma max is equal to gamma one minus or uh, sorry, gamma one minus gamma two by gamma two. Okay. So the flow of the expression can be written as divided two by both sides. Okay. Is gamma max by two divided by epsilon minus two. Okay, we know that sigma one minus sigma two is gamma max. Okay, very simple. So, so all the results of this. So, so this is the difference. So we can say that difference of uh, simple state divided by two is equal to Maximum shear strain by by two, but difference of tension by by two is tau max. Okay, so all the result that we have obtained in case of complex stresses, okay, result we obtained in case of linear to complex. Just be obtained in uniaxial complexness is this is this this sigma theta sigma x by two sigma x by two cos theta and tau theta sigma x by two sin theta. So in this case, it In this case, the epsilon theta and epsilon x are connected by the same equation. Okay, then sigma theta is replaced by epsilon theta, and epsilon x, epsilon x, sigma theta, sigma x is replaced by epsilon x. Okay, but where so all the direct stresses are Replaced by direct strain as it is. Okay, in the result. But when we take the shear stress, we have to uh, and we want to replace it by the shear strain. We have to divide it by two. So, so this is the expression. Okay, the expression for the expression for shear stress is tau theta sigma x times the tau theta divided by two. So the expression for uh, shear strain. Well, now shear stress is replaced by tau theta is replaced by gamma theta by two, and this expression uh, sigma x is replaced by mm -hmm. here. It is not divided by two. So here the expression is replaced by gamma theta is equal to two and two cancel out. Okay, and gamma theta will be equal to actually okay sigma x times gamma theta. Okay. Sigma gamma theta, the two plus two, okay, and the epsilon x times the theta, right? Okay. Now, next, next to biaxial stress result was biaxial stress result was. Sigma theta, sigma x plus sigma y by two, plus sigma y minus sigma x by two, or so on. And so this expression will remain same, okay? Because there is no shear stress. 
as per theta is equal to x to x plus x to y by 2 plus x to y minus x to x by 2 both ways. Okay, but the shear stress expression will change. How? Here the gamma theta, sorry, tau theta will be replaced by gamma theta by 2, and sigma is replaced by x to x. Sigma y is replaced by x to y. Okay. So gamma theta is equal to x from x minus x from y is equal to sin theta. Okay. Similarly, the pure shear stress phase result will also be the result of pure shear was. So sigma sigma theta is. Minus tau x y sin theta. So sigma theta is equal to x to theta minus gamma x y by two. Tau theta is equal to gamma x y by two. Okay. And uh, expression for shear strain will also be okay. For shear stress was tau theta minus gamma. Uh, Tau x y by four theta. Okay. So tau theta is gamma theta minus tau x y four theta. Okay. By two by two two two. You can see out. Similarly, two dimensional complex stress stress system of space. Here the result will also be the stress result was. Sigma theta is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by two plus sigma sigma theta question mark sigma theta question mark sigma x plus sigma y by two plus sigma y minus sigma x by two or theta minus tau x by tan theta. So here we will take the f theta. X to x, x to y, x to y, x to x, and here gamma x by by two. Okay, here gamma x by two. Here gamma theta by two. Okay, so the result the result will become gamma theta by two. X to x, x to y, by by two. Okay, so the two will cancel out. Okay, so expression for gamma theta is this, and expression for x to theta is this. Okay. Similarly, the expression for principal strain will also be the principal stresses was expression for principal stresses was sigma x plus sigma y by two plus minus one by two sigma x minus sigma y square plus two sigma sigma tau x by two. Okay. So expression for this term here there was here in this expression there was two. So it will be gamma x y by two. Two two will be cancelled out. Rest of the expression will be same. Okay. This expression is this is expression x one x plus x two y by two. Okay. Next maximum shear stress. Maximum shear stress expression was maximum shear stress expression was this. Sigma x minus sigma y square plus two tau x y square into two by two. Okay. So sigma x minus sigma y x to x minus x to y square tau x y square. Okay. So two 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 two. So next is Mohr's strain. Mohr's strain circle is similar to Mohr's stress circle, but here also The gamma is sorry, tau is replaced by gamma x by the two. Okay, the vertical component will be gamma y x by two or gamma x by the two. Okay, whereas in the more stress circle, the vertical component was gamma sorry tau x by x by or y x. Okay. So this is the Mohr circle, Mohr strain circle. Here, 
Yes, this is the This is your f of x that is same as that of sigma x. This is your f of y that is same as that of sigma y. This is your f of 1 that is same as that of sigma 1. This is your f of 2 that is sigma 2. So this is your gamma y x. So this wall tau y x, but now it is gamma y x value. Similarly, this is gamma y x and, and this is now max vertical. All the vertical components were tau, but now they are gamma by 2 with their respective suffix. Okay. When it is gamma tau x y, it is gamma x y value. When it is gamma max or tau max, it is gamma x y value. When it is tau y x, it is gamma y value. That's the first thing to do. When it is tau theta, it is gamma theta. So, uh, this is similar to more circle, but we will explain the shear stress changes by, the shear stress is replaced by, shear strain by, Ooh. Mm -hmm.